In this video, let's talk about how to change letter spacing in Photoshop. So letter spacing for all the letters is also called tracking, and you can also kern in between individual letters. So for instance here, I have this thumbnail that's about an Illustrator alternative, which would be Figma, that's what that logo, uh, the pixelated logo up there is. But the letters are incredibly close together, and I need to change that letter spacing. Now what I would do first is press T for the type tool and click and drag to highlight all of my text. Then I need to open up the character panel. That character panel is usually docked over here on the right, but you can also find it in the window dropdown down to should be character right here. And so once we're inside the character panel, we actually have this little icon right here. And this will be familiar across all of Adobe's programs. This allows you to set the tracking for the selected letters. Generally, you can drop this down and just press zero, and that's gonna be the tracking for the baseline font. In my opinion, those letters are a little far apart, and so I might click in here and press the up and down arrow key, that's gonna go in increments of 20, until the letters are closer together. And once I've done that, I feel pretty good about it. Now this one over here on the left is kerning. So this is how you kern between individual characters. So let's take a look here. Let's just pretend like I want a little bit less space between the A and the L. So if I click in between there, remember I still have the type tool selected, so I can select in between different letters. Clicking in between the A and the L, I can actually come up here, there's a drop down. I could just click on negative 25 for a second and kind of bring that space together. So this part is kerning between specific letters. I can also use the up and down arrow keys that'll go in increments of 10 to try to bring that back to the point that I like the space between those two individual letters. You'll find yourself with fonts that aren't perfectly kerned. You may need to do that here and there or just depending on the situation. Now, so this is basically how to change letter spacing, both all of the letters, which would be tracking, and both in between just two letters, which would be called kerning. And that's how you can change the letter spacing here in Adobe Photoshop.